Hey guys, Jake here. We're at Pear Tree Ranch and we're continuing with Remy. Uh, we're going to do catch alter lead. We have um, already shown you putting the loop over, but we've progressed to now putting the halter on. We needed to start doing some uh, tying prep to get ready for the farrier and some other things where we need to be able to be tied. And so switching to the halter, we kind of wanted to get to that anyway. We've added that to the mix. So we're gonna show you that and then uh, progress to the round pen. And we'll kind of talk more about what we're doing once we get in there. We've established kind of our pattern of being able to come and say hi. So she knows to kind of come and see us, but she kind of has a hard time wanting to stay. So just kind of have to be patient on it. <clears throat> Cause she understands kind of what we're looking for. Good job. We got pressure when we're over there and release when we start looking. Okay. Pressure when we're over there, release when we start looking. And again, you can see her brain, I hope you can see her brain working on what we're doing. But she's going to kind of choose to put that on there versus me just putting it on her. So we've been doing like this to kind of work on that confidence there. See how she kind of put her ear to almost get it under there. Nobody said go away. Okay. And she's just got to experience this that many million times where it doesn't have to mean anything. Good. We'll just kind of flip it around here till it stops meaning so much. Okay, so we've been working on that. And then she kind of has her face here. And again, she kind of needed to choose to allow me to put this up and over. And touch her ears and 
do that. Again, I could probably spend an hour a day just doing this. <clears throat> we got other things that we're doing, so we're just putting a little energy into this, put a little energy into other things, okay? That's one way we've been doing it. To stay out of the spot where you get under here and bother her when you hug her, we haven't been doing that. But I kind of felt it good, so I went to do that today, like, oh, okay, la da. <clears throat> and I want that to be all right. Again, getting in that close and just being able to reach around her and not have her take offense to me being in her more intimate space. So we're seeing progress with that. And we take time every time we take the rope off to kind of help it just mean relax and head down. And that doesn't mean she's got to rush off anywhere. Okay, so we're going to get you guys organized and in position in the round pen. And we'll see you in there. Okay. So what we're going to work on here is a little bit of just taming prep, prep for the farrier. Saddling prep, it's just kind of all tied. And I'd love to be able to be okay. Is if I could just tie her, and have her kind of stand comfortably and confidently without having to Fuss around. Now what we ran into when the barrier came is obviously she doesn't like you in her intimate space where you're touching her body and in close, okay? And she just, it's not a little, it's a big old reaction and flinging herself around. It's just not safe to uh, have the farrier in there. So we started to build a bit of a pattern here where it's like get tied, get brushed. This is a great time of year to be doing taming because they're all starting to shed here in Florida. And they need brushing anyway. But when I get back here, see how that makes us feel chased? So we kind of started teaching her, bring me your booty. Well, how'd you do that, Jake, you said. I don't know. We kinda, same thing with the catching. We just kinda showed her where not to be and then waited for her to make a good choice about where she could be. So there was hot lava over there and hot lava over there and let her swing her butt both ways, that's fine. But I'm gonna go kinda put pressure in both those spots and then get really quiet when she kind of gets in the middle here. <clears throat> and when she started to realize what was going on, she slowed herself down and I was able to kind of get ready to put pressure over there. And she realized she could kind of step that booty back to me. And all that was happening when it got here was me brushing. Now, kind of all good when we stay in this left eye. There she's licking and chewing, we like that. But see how I start sh shifting to getting over here and she kind of don't want to? I'm not gonna chase that. Say, no, I ain't chasing that. You just bring that right back over here. I was busy brushing that. No, I ain't chasing that. You bring that back over here. I was busy brushing that. So you see her, she looks with her left eye. She went to look with her right eye, got bothered and moved it away. She's allowed to do that, but I'm allowed to put it back. Now, I started that process actually, bringing her hip to me with the rope around her foot. 
like I said, we kind of went to do the farrier and she was just bothered. So I put a rope around each leg and handled it. <laughs> And I said, oh, Jake, beer mom, you're going to get kicked. Don't you know? Don't stand behind the horse. Well, we got to start somewhere. So we start easing our way in here. I use the flag at first to rub her from a distance where I could be safer. There, I like the head went down. That told me that was like a bigger effort and change. And I need the brushing to be the baseline. The brushing is the release. Oh God, Jake, don't you know? Where's your clicker? You're not doing positive reinforcement. I'm so triggered. Okay, this is the positive reinforcement. Gotta be balanced. Gotta have both parts. You gotta understand pressure if they're ever gonna make it in the real world. So there's hot lava over there. And then there's comfort over here. There. When she gets more and more in the middle here, perpendicular to the fence, where she could see me with both eyes, she'll start. There you go. Giving that a chance. You see, every time we go over here and she starts to lose me, she moves her booty. She's got to give me a chance to see me with her right eye over here. There, see her take her nose to the right a little bit. That was different. And she can do this as many times as she wants. It's just like trailer loading. You can come out of the trailer as many times as you want. I'm just going to keep putting you back in until you Give me a shot to stay there. See how I'm further over here? See how she just lost me for a second? She went, I can't see him, but she stayed. There she saw me. There, see, she went, oh, e, ah, uh, oh, wait, I know what to do. Just put your butt back here. She's got to let me step this way. And if she steps over, I'm just going to let her step into a little pressure there. Pressure. Well, you make up your mind. Where do you want to be? You make up your mind where you want to be. Oh, and I'm not chasing you over there. There.
Good, that's a big change. But nobody said put your butt back over there. There, she saw me, and then she went back. She went, I see you. Oh, I like that better. Okay. But she's got to make an honest effort. There, and then look how long that was. And I just back off again. Let that be, wow, look at that. She needs to not think about me being back here as pressure. This is the relief. Good girl. Pressure is all the dancing around and wiggling and extra motion. She's got to get tame to these things and not think it means anything different. Hi. So now that she's finally kind of chose to look at me with that right eye and say that's okay by keeping her feet still, then I'll just move further up here and get all this hair off her. There, nice looking shoe. Okay, kind of make my way back over here. There, she sees me. Don't love that that foot stepped, but let's see what happens if we just kind of not make it a thing. If I can just scooch back and she changes her eye, see, then it was kind of worth not making that one little step a deal. And look at it in the left eye. Nope. Look at in the right eye. Good. Left eye. Good. Right eye. Good. Okay. Good progress. So this is just a little thing. This is, we got two days so far doing this um, as just a preparatory thing. After feeling her out about the farrier prep, how could I do something that's a bit lateral in th thought? instead of direct line oh i need a pepper for the farrier get a hold of her feet and do that let's get her good about me working around her body and not feeling like she's got to swing around uh, and be defensive there and then we're kind of in a good spot to get our bareback pad on this can you, uh, saddling, doing, you know, farrier work, different types of things, doing it where they're tied can amplify the feeling of claustrophobia in horses and really bother them. So we want to be mindful if we're going to tie our horse to saddle them. Like, see, that starts to create this worry. They got to have some build up to that and kind of find their way to get uh, comfortable there so they don't feel trapped or then they got to pull and fight and get more defensive I help a lot of people that you know they get in trouble with their horses and cross ties and I'm not saying yay or nay on that I'm just sharing that that even more can make a horse feel claustrophobic. So you wanna make sure they understand and are really comfortable with the whatever it is you're doing before you 
tie them. And I like a single tie like this where they can move side to side, depending on the horse and where they're at. I might wrap the rope so it can slide and use a longer rope so it can slide. And we have all that stuff in our basic horse videos. Basic horse stuff, okay? All right, let's put on this longer rope. So we can do some kind of groundwork here, work on our bare minimum um, groundwork list. And the big one that I want to put a little energy into, we did this last time, was the canner. To hear that, you know, the owner, they had worked on that, but had like not gotten it. If we try something and release on not getting it, we kind of accidentally can teach them to not. I'm gonna pick this longer stick so I can move my feet less. And I got the longer rope to not make it too tight. We did yesterday on the shorter rope and it was okay, but it just was hard for the horse to have the room. You guys saw in the last video, like with the camera in here, and not being able to have the full space to get up and get going to the canter was hard without that little extra room. You see, I can let all that 22 feet slide, use the fence to create a little bit of a squeeze. And then, <clears throat> so now I'm gonna start saying, that's good, but you could be right there. Nope, you could just be right there. And I can make a vector with this stick. So there's lava over there. You're running into the lava, bump, bump, bump. And there's lava over there. There's lava over there, and there's lava over there. There we go. Find the middle. Start putting a little time. Again, we have a thing that works coming over here and getting rubbed on that left side. But we want to add some balance along the way. So we don't want to make the horse feel wrong. Okay. So like she's like, I did it. Can I do the thing now? Yeah, you can do the thing. Good job. By the way, No. By the way, you could be right here. So I didn't say no about that. I just said, by the way, you could also be here. I like when she's like, hey, do, do it more. Do it more. Darn, she likes me. What a meanie. Yep. And then, get your butt. Cluck, cluck, and then the stick. So it's a bit of a pattern. Got your butt. Good. Now. Could just be right here. There you go. Uh -uh. You could be right here. There you are. Well, that time I said we're not going to do that right now. It's like my wife. I'm always like, hey, baby. She's always like, not right now. Like, I need a back scratch or something. 
right? Not right now. What? I'll rub you more. I love rubbing you. Who's a good girl? Got your butt. And we maintain that a fair bit longer. Good job. There, see, and that took less energy to catch and just go right here. Right here is good. Oh, weird, we're looking at me with the right eye. Oh my goodness. I will rub you more. I will rub you more. Who's a girl? Okay, so I like that. That took getting kind of sweaty yesterday. Well, there you go. So we've worked on this move with the uh, lariat rope. This is our horse burpees. I can use this side to drive and say, yeah. While the other side kind of leads. And then when she started looking for the answer there and taking her nose to the left, I just let the rope slide. Now, she knows sideways with her head down, so she's thinking that's the answer. And it's in the realm of the right idea. And by using that fence and that sideways move that we've kind of already done, I can help herd her in the direction till her nose gets more sensitive uh, to the feel on the rope. Sensitive and confident, I would say. There. And then I would just do the same way for a few times. Till right there should be enough. If I put that little feel, horse should feel the difference in that's on the left side of the neck and is leading the nose left. And then everything gets quiet. That away. Bring me your pretty face so I can see you. We started this behind the butt. Aha. And then we progressed to over the neck like that. And I haven't done this a lot. Especially, you know, now we're, what, three sessions in, four sessions in with doing the halter. <clears throat> there you go. OK. 
Okay, so now by staying with the same direction, <clears throat> we've got the pattern of this is what we're doing working, and it's helping us along the way with confidence and yielding. So you can use patterns to help you build confidence and yielding. You use confidence and yielding to train patterns. All right, let's put this over here, and we'll do the other way. So I'm walking the way I want the nose to go. I want the nose to go to her right. So I'm walking towards her nose to push the front end to the right. By doing this like this over the withers, you can't just pull harder. You have to kind of use your feel and your rope in a creative way here to get them to feel and be sensitive to that. And it's very minimally right or left when it's on the side of their neck like that, which is part of what makes this move really helpful <clears throat> for getting horses in a bind and getting them to think through it. So any of the rearing horses that we help, this is a big part of it, getting them to feel the subtle rights and lefts And with the longer rope, I don't have to let the rope come on hard at all. I can just slip and slide it. Good job. Job. You're good right here. Pretty face. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty you are. Look how pretty you are. Yeah, look at that pretty face. Let's see which way we turn them to the right. Okay. A little rub here now. Well, that's what happens. You get crowding me. You're gonna run into me. There. Pretty quick. When they get this move, now they can turn around and have you behind their butt. And they can learn some confidence with that. Love this flexion that we're starting to see right there. The mind, the nose, and the neck. We're thinking about right much faster. So if your horse has trouble on a circle, do this move. If your horse has trouble pulling back, do this move. Helps them make sense of forward, backward, right, left. Well, you just can't crowd me. There you go. There we go. Now, there'll come a time where I can start putting a little more oomph under that rope and start telling her that she's late. 
because she's just kind of learning it, it's not really fair for me to start saying she's late. She doesn't know what she's late for. But right there, I can start putting a little oomph when they are starting, just when I see the other eye. And that can help get that hip around there and get them headed back towards me. I don't want you to pull them back towards you. But I want to see that nose, neck. Whoop, you almost made it. Right there, I can put a little bump. Okay, so that's a good start on both directions. Let's go back to the canner briefly. We can put some reps onto that. We are much better, faster today about the canner. The longer rope and stick help to give her some more room. I might start holding the rope a bit shorter to see if she could handle it. And if not, I'll just slide it. We got it, and then I said, go a little more. Whether she was gonna go more or not, it's nice that she, I was able to say, go a little more, and it didn't mean anything bad. There you go. We got it, which we've been doing. Now, I said, let's go a little more. The front end went, but we lost the hip. So we ease our way back and just try again. There, and go a little more. And we got it. In one step, she lost the hip, but she bounced it back right before she finished her turn. Good job. Okay, we like that. So now, got two things left on our list of what we're kind of working on this week or what we've worked on and are ready to work on. We're gonna do the lie down again. And what we're, why we're doing that some more is first times we, the horse may be laid down a few times. Um, thank you. Yes, I want that foot, please. Bring me that foot up here. The horse maybe had to lay down a few times to find a way to stay <clears throat> and achieve the whole picture of lay down and relax. But what we started doing this week is lay down, relax, which we've kind of gotten on like the first try, which was good, and then get up and then do it again. So we're doing some reps on lay down to just build that yield up. So there's a confidence aspect of the lay down and then there's a yield aspect of the lay down that we're using it for, okay? Thank you. And so when we do reps, it's just like that I came back and did the circle again. We're doing reps on the circle. And then once we do the lay down here a couple of times, uh, we're gonna do mounting. We'll do it from the fence, 
I've kind of been sitting on her 95% full weight off the fence and having that be okay. And just like you um, might remember in the last session when we did it, the mounting, she was starting to find her way to come underneath me. And with the same idea of the bring your booty back here with the brushing, we're gonna um, do the same thing for the mount. Bring your booty back here. Now, if I keep her nose to me and keep this little feel, I don't wanna shove or push here if I can help it. There, so she can kind of fold there. Good girl. that she can kind of get underneath me. There you go. Now I'm gonna just kind of sit. I'm not meaning to sit on her like, yeah, that's right, I'll sit on you. We're not doing that. I'm just kind of sitting to be with her. And it gets some reps at me being on and around. So I'm kind of trying to stay really low. I don't want to sit on her ribs or it's putting any push on her uh, breathing or anything. You know, I'm just being thoughtful about it, but I do want to be able to sit and be a little bit where we're covering her. Now, yesterday when we worked on this, I think I did three reps of up and down. And, you know, we stayed for quite a while. We were all sitting out here, chitty chatting, just hanging out with her. And <clears throat> she'd worked a little harder at the cantering. So she was kind of hot, sweaty, and it was a pretty warm day. And so we just hung out and let her just be there and spend, um, Lots of time just down and comfortable with us all here and around her. Just touching her in loving, nice ways to where she can just experience that, feel good about it. Okay. Now I might invite her to get up. We only use that sound for a good deal. Come here to get rubbed on. Come here to get your halter so I can rub on you. Come here so I can take you out of the trailer. Deep breath, <sighs> three, two, one. Make sure there's time that this, it felt like a release and a good job that she was up. Good girl. You can see it's getting very soft. She understands. She's confident about it. Oh, it's a good horse.
Now for the video's sake, we're not gonna spend a super long time down here, but this is something I would be doing and staying, you know, longer and longer to just, again, be with her. There are a lot of things to be working on. And one of the big things is just time and exposure to things that can make her feel good versus trying to train her and achieve, you know, a checklist, okay? I extra like how soft and easy that was, so I'm not gonna do another time. I mentioned yesterday we did three, and I wanna get this where we do more and more reps, but I'm releasing today on how nice that was. And she's not really tired, she's not wore out. She just could feel really good about this. So let's get this foot here. You're a good girl. Okay. She's kind of laid on that, so I'm just going to leave it. Hi. Feels good. I like how relaxed her legs are. I like how relaxed all the way around here. Hey, that might be nice if that just would stay there. There we go. Yeah, it might just be nice. It might just be real nice. What do you think? Okay. So she kind of came up to me with my kiss, kiss. I'm not gonna push it for her to come all the way up. If she wants to lay out and roll some more, I don't mind it. If she's gonna come all the way up, then great. Okay. Good girl. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do here is our mounting. And just remember, notice all the things that we're doing that just come be by around and close to me and it doesn't mean pressure. Or she's starting to work with me in her, uh, what I would call intimate space, not just personal space, okay, in her bubble, but intimate space, meaning I'm touching, you know, sitting on, holding her close. So notice again, it didn't take me very much um, encouragement there to have everything kind of slide up close, which is good. Yeah, that's real nice. Okay. So that's 60% of my weight. I got a fair bit on my loaded on my left leg. You got to be mindful of, you know, I got my spurs on. So if I, my left toe turns out and she pushes to the fence, I don't want her to poke into me, you know, into that spur there. So she's kind of pushing again. So I might just invite her. Yeah, there. Come a little closer. Just a little bit longer. Oh, won't you stay? Hey, bonus points if you know what, song, what movie that's from. 
Leave it in the comments. Mm -hmm. There. And see, I kind of sat faster that time. That's 95% of my weight. My foot's on the fence that I could grab and hold myself, but that's a lot of commitment. Okay, sat on there. <clears throat> there. So because she kind of leaned her neck into that, I scratched a little firmer. I've been rubbing her pretty soft and gentle. That's the most kind of, uh, aggressive is not the right word, but with the, the, that amount of oomph of like scratching on that. Okay, but she's kind of getting where she's realizing. There. Oh, yes. Yes, that's just a spot, girl. One of the other things that we've been doing uh, a little bit of. Come on. Thank you. I know, but my leg's up on the fence. There. <clears throat> That's a great taming thing to do is bathing. So we've been taking her over when we're done and hosing her down. Again, we increase her her bubble of spaces she can go. She'll go over to the barn, get washed off, especially as the weather gets warm. Like yesterday, she's good and hot and sweaty. She liked that. So how many more ways can she look to us for safety and comfort? And not just because we bring a bag of treats. That she appreciates the the boundaries, respects the boundaries we offer her and feels good to work within them. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that too. She kind of let me push and balance on her and she's kind of came close to stay. All right. We're going to end this here. You guys have seen me take the tack off. You've seen me put her up. She's not really hot and sweaty today, so we're just gonna just ride this wave. Ah, oh, ain't that nice? Where we're gonna go from here, uh, the setup, you know, we need to continue farrier prep. She really needs her feet done, and I want her relaxed and confident about that. Um, we need to continue doing saddling and getting back to that. Uh, I want to do two line driving. So we're going to share that with you. And that puts me behind her steering around. And like we did, this was secret prep for that as well. Get confident back there and stay in the middle. I think that'll be really helpful for um, prep for really successful riding. So we're going to add that to the mix. So got plenty more coming on the journey to success with our girl Remy. And we appreciate you guys following along doing my best to read all the comments so many positive comments we really appreciate all the thoughtful words of encouragement you guys are sharing it means a lot and everybody else well thanks for driving up the algorithm but we appreciate you guys for being here uh, if you're not like and subscribe leave us a comment tell us what you learned and we'll keep bringing them to you all right i'm jake this is remy we're at pear tree ranch and we'll see you next time